hello soulmates um you're welcome to another drafting tutorial this tutorial is going to teach you how to get a fitted gown and how to add a sitting allowance to your gown and also contouring your back your zip allowance the back side so that it gets everything at the back will be straight like it will it will it will be smooth you will not have any bulginess at the zip side or anything yeah so that is what we'll be learning how to draft today a basic gown block so do stay on and please like my video comment subscribe and turn on the bell so that you get notified anytime i post a new video thank you guys um so let's dive in into today's course okay like you all know, I normally have my starting line of half inch or one inch. Yeah, this is my starting line. Now let's connect our lines together. So from here now, we can now take our vertical measurements. Now... My breast point is 12 inches, under bust is 16, waist length is 20. Then the length of this gown, I will do 32 inches plus 1 inch for seam allowance. Now let me repeat it here. 12 inches, 16, 20. Okay, my hip, I'm going to use 26 inches for my hip. 32 plus 1 inch seam allowance. So let me put my hip here again. 26. Yeah. So right now we are going to connect all our lines together. Okay, so so mates, like I normally do, whatever I have in between my breast points and my under boss is what I'm going to use as my chest line. So I have four inches there. So I'll repeat the same four inches there, then I'll mark it. Now we have our lines already. Okay, let's start putting our measurements. The shoulder measurement I'm going to use is 16. That's divided by two, you have eight. You repeat the same eight inches on your chest line here like this yeah so you're going to connect your lines like so so now let's use one inch for our shoulder slope then our basic or our standard measurement for the neck width and the neck depth is three by three for the front three by three Yeah, so from the neck width here, it connects it to the shoulder slope. Okay, so now whatever thin measurement you have left here, I have seven inches here. You divide it by two, you get the mid point. So you go in here by half inch or 0 0.75. It's when you measure your across chest. So whatever you have there is what you, you put here. But let's use half inch for this tutorial then the round bust circumference for this tutorial is 43 inches divided by four that's 10.75 we are not adding any allowance to this pattern it's so when you you want to cut your fabric you start adding your allowance so guys you connect from here like this then then from here It connects like so. So now we have our ham hole ready. Then the next thing now is to input our nipple to nipple measurements, your breast apart. Mine is nine inches, that's 4.5. You put it on your breast point, on your under bust, and on your waist, on your waistline. So you connect the lines together. This is a straight gown pattern. You connect it together you put it also on your hip on your hip line 
so connect from your breast point to your hip line yeah like this then on your breast point you can come down by one inch on your breast point here it's just to avoid any sharp angle that is why we normally come down here by one inch now on your waist line here we are going to put our dart so i'm going to use 0 0.75 on both sides you can use one, uh, half inch on both sides that's one inch yeah so what you will now do is you connect from this to this this to this then here so your full what you will do is you will use 23 23 inches this is where you will stop your dart measurements from so this is how to do it like this guys like this you see the reason why i said i don't want to use this marker it is too too big okay so like this this is how you you get your your dart measurements from so now let's put in our round circumference we already have our bust here you Put the same thing here on your boss 10.75 you mark it like this on your waist my waist is 36 inches let's use 35 yeah 35 that's 8.75 so now we have 1.5 here for this darts you put it back here you have to whatever you have here you replace it back here yeah so now hip of 10.5 42 no let's do hip of 11 that's 44 so you repeat the same 44 down here can you all see guys so you will now connect your lines connect from here first to your waist from your waist it's a hip so you have to get your hip curve like so then here has to be straight down because it's a very short gown there's no kneel measurements here there's no kneel measurements here so here you just curve it up a little like this yeah so now guys we are done with our front gown block so we will now cut we will now draft the back we have one inch as our zip allowance you take that one first Okay, so guys, this is your zip allowance. Now we have our our bustier line of eight inches. You repeat the same thing here. You rule it. Let me use seventeen inches as my back half length. You need to just pay attention to this. I know why I'm doing this. Seventeen inches. So just mark it. Then you go in. Now we are contouring the back zip allowance. We are contouring the back. Went in by one inch here. So now on this one inch here, I'll connect it to the end of this zip allowance here, like this. I decided to use a different marker so you can see what I am doing here. Do you get? So now place your place your front paper on this like this like this let's it touch the zip allowance let it touch the zip allowance like this so now extend your your hip line extend it like this so after extending it we are going to use one inch for our zip our sitting allowance 
yeah on this hip line here please you need to pay attention to this very well on this hip line here you come down by four inches so now we are doing this is the under butt your under butt it depends on how big the clients or your butt is some people under butt could be five inches could be 5.5 or 4.5 yeah but i'm doing four inches here that is the length i want to use for the under butt here so now this is how you will now connect it you remember we went in here by one inch we are doing 100 percent contouring at this back there's not going to be any bulginess but if you don't want it to be too fitted you can do half inch or no 0.75 is okay it is okay so now you will now connect from this place here you take it you connect it like this to the hip line can you see it from here like this to this zip allowance this one inch here from the starting point here you get you go in here by one inch so you connect from here you now connect to this hip line you can blend this up if it's too pointy you can blend it up yeah so now from here now from this one inch you came out here on this hip allowance you now take it down to this four inches for uh, this um bot this under bot it's called the under bot so can you see it guys this is how to contour your you know your back allowance your back zip allowance to avoid any body and for you to have enough room to sit down for your butt to accommodate your butt so on this place there is no we don't have any zip any zip allowance here again so you just take it you just go straight up here like this so now let's cut we are done with the back okay now on the back sorry the back depth we do we did three at the front for the width the back is the back is one inch So you connect your lines together so now let's cut okay so we are now about to cut the back when you get to this place at this if you're going to place it on it and cut like this just come up here because our back and our front is not the same just come up like this and meet the the shoulder slope line here and mix it like this so guys remember we use 20 inches for our half length for the front you repeat the same 20 inches here then we use 4.5 for our nipple to nipple at the front we use 4.5 for our nipple to nipple at the front but like i always do i normally add one inch to it so that would not be 5.5 the reason why i added one inch to it is because of this one inch contouring we took in here at our back deepness this is our back waist that is why i normally add I'm supposed to take the one inch here, but the distance between my shoulder and my waist is too long, it's too much. So you can just measure your back waist length and just input it here because this is a gown. You just you just input it here, then you go in by one inch. So now I have to add the one inch back to I, my back nipple to nipple because we don't have nipple to nipple at the back now, but our back uh, that our back that line is five inches uh, 5.5 instead of the 4.5 we did at the back so now you take half inch on both side on both side so we have our hip our hip length of 26 inches so you connect the lines So we did 22 23 inches for the length 
the back, the front length, you repeat the same thing here. So we mark the same 5.5 here. So now let's connect our lines together. The same 5.5 on this chest line here. I hope you understand what I'm doing, please. Okay. So what you will now do is, you take this half inch up. You can come down by one inch or you take it up. Yeah. Then you go down like this. Okay, so this is your dart for the back. So this place is going out. By the time you sew, it is going off. Yeah. So you will now place the front on it. Like so. Place it on the... Let it touch the zip allowance. Like this. Then you can now cut. So you remove it aside. This is how you now cut your back now. This is how you cut your back. Let me face it here so you will see. So now you start cutting from this your zip line. We don't have any zip allowance at this side. I would, I will, when, once I'm done, I'll show you what to do. You start cutting like this. Okay, so guys, this is how your back is going to look like. So now let me put in our zip allowance. Okay, then there's something I need to do. There's something I need to make you guys understand. Let's say, for instance, your back deepness, you don't want to use one inch. Yeah, you want to go down. Maybe you want to use um, five inches. Yeah, let's say you want to use five inches. And you now connect it. to your shoulder width yeah so let's say this is how you want to cut your your back now let's cut it off okay so now let's say this is your back width can you see that there's no more zip allowance here can you see what I'm saying? There's no more zip allowance here. But don't bother about that. Still maintain your one inch for zip allowance. Maintain your one inch for zip allowance. This is how to, con how to shape in your back. Maintain your one inch zip allowance all the way down. Our back and our front, it is not the same measurement. You can measure it yourself. You see that our front is always bigger than the back. So it will not affect you. Maintain your exact one inch zip allowance like this. Connect. Yeah. So this is now your new zip allowance. If you've watched my previous my tutorial on how to draft a, a, a basic half half block, this is the same thing I did on that on that on that place. This is now because this now becomes your zip allowance and you know all the way down. All the way down. So guys, this is how to cut your 
a basic gown block. This is the front and this is the back. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Bye.